when you start pumping aircrete, you're going to have to deal with valves. And with that in mind, I went down to research the best material available to use for aircrete valves. And of course, I started out with plastic because it's the cheapest and also being fairly inert, it shouldn't really react with the aircrete. Now, I don't have um, a video torque wrench. So what I'm going to do is try to express my findings through the craft of acting. Let's go. Here's one straight off the shelves. Brand new, never been used. Hmm. How delightfully smooth. And now, one that's been used one time to pump air creep and it has uh, been thoroughly washed and rinsed uh, right after the use. Let's see how this one does. Mm. Mm. As you can see, that required quite a bit more force. In fact, it's busted. That's not turning. All right, let's compare that with stainless steel. Now obviously stainless steel is about four times more expensive. Let's check it out in its initial state. Good. However, what would happen if I, oh wait a minute, I already have. I've pumped aircrete through this and yet it's fine. So even though this costs about 20 bucks to approximately five, I'm gonna say that stainless steel is really your best bet.